So we're on a five hour bus trip to go to Bagan and now we get to have a 20 minute break where we get to eat. We ordered rice, um, Justin got chicken and I got vegetables. But the confusing part is they brought all this stuff out before we even ordered. So we're assuming that's Justin's chicken and this is my vegetable. Um, we're not 100% sure, it's just toppings that go with the rice. Uh, some of it's actually kind of good. But the part that I really want to um, focus on is that their, their tissue paper and toilet paper here is really this crepe paper. Yeah, it's stretchy. It's like straight up crepe paper. This is what we use to decorate for parties. So. And this table over here laughed at us when we came in. I guess us just being here is funny. This kind of reminds me of like when you go to a Korean restaurant and uh, sort of like before they bring out your actual food that you order, they bring out like all these little appetizers like as a standard thing, I think. Exactly, and that's what I thought it was at first because we got it before we ordered, but this is it, so yeah, I mean, it's tasty, I just don't understand. So this is the public restroom, um, it's a squatter toilet. Nothing new, that's how most um, Southeast Asian um, culture is. But what's different about this is that there's four squatter toilets that are completely outside. So of course, me being me, these are the ones that I chose. Um, also closing the door and touching the door handles kind of kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies. So I figured this was my safe bet. But being so tall, I could see everybody. <laughs> it's very interesting never seen that before. This is a one lane bridge. There was oncoming traffic. They just passed us and it's a railroad bridge. explanation we can offer. Um, so we took the bus here and we paid at our last hotel in Mandalay. We paid for the bus ticket. It specifically said Pagan on it and they specifically told us that they would drop us off at the door of our hotel. We got to this random bus station and they said, all right, this is it, like, time to get out. And we said, no, 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 we, they, we paid to go to our hotel. Like, this is our hotel. We had it written down. There was a huge language barrier. We had no idea what was going on. Taxi drivers were coming up and trying to get us into their taxis. And we said, like, no, we refuse to pay anymore. We paid to go to our hotel. So we continued to drive around. They dropped some more of the locals off, like, at their houses and stuff. We made a couple U-turns. We had no idea what town we were in. Um, there was a Polish guy that we had been talking to. He's the only other Westerner on the bus. And we also couldn't really understand what he wanted to do. But he kept, he started answering for like the three of us to the, to the bus staff. And it was really strange how it all happened. Finally, they dropped us off at the hotel that we wanted to go to. But the hotel was a lot more expensive than what it said it was going to be online. So after all that, like we looked kind of like weird that we insisted on going there, and then we ended up not booking a room there. Uh, so we left and we just went to another place right down the road. We found a good price, so we got our hotel. We're in the town. Um, it's a little bit more reassuring now that we're here. We have a lot more restaurants that were available in Mandalay, despite this being a smaller town. There are a lot of ATMs around, so it feels good that there's, um, you know, some things here that we can use. So we're going to go to sleep early tonight and wake up early tomorrow and get some bicycles and drive in, drive ourselves on a bicycle. It's five kilometers. Kristen was really intimidated by that. Seven kilometers. Seven kilometers. Um, but it's only supposed to take 30 minutes. And then we'll ride our bikes around. Uh, it's just the road conditions that scares me. Yeah. Yeah, right though. So, yeah, this is it. Town. Not, not what it's called. Not been. It's not, not Bagan. Bagan. We know that. <laughs> but it's next to Bagan. To stay in Bagan itself is really, it's like $100 a night. So, 
That's out of our budget. But it's okay because there's a lot of restaurants here. And it's fine. Um, this is Mandalay beer. It's the second beer we've had in this country. The other one is called Myanmar beer. Um, this one is not good. This will be the last one of these I have. Switching back to Myanmar beer. Nor is my milkshake. Not it's, so good. It's just like whipped chocolate milk. <laughs> um, so it's uh, bright and early in um, Bagan. Uh, I guess not really bright and early, but the earliest that we get up. And we are biking to Bagan itself from the town we're staying in, which we still don't know the name. Um, it starts off with a seven kilometer bike ride, so that's what we're on now. And then once we get there, we're gonna ride around all day in the sun, in the sand, see Bagan. Kristen's terrified of the insane traffic conditions we're dealing with. Of course, now as we're filming, you can't really see like all the cars and stuff that are going around. But as luck would have it, of course now, day two in Myanmar, we're dealing with our normal traffic conditions at home, where it's like the correct way uh, driving for us. But I've gotten used to the British way, so I'm really confused now. Um, and there's a lot of beeping, a lot of honking, a lot of people calling at us. Um, and I'm not always sure if they're honking for us to move over, if they're honking because it's another car that's honking. I never know. Just but ride and stay to the side. Yeah, if I don't crash today, I'll be very, very happy. Um, and yeah, it's a nice little break. It's our first uh, temple we stopped at. I don't know if these are actually called temples or not. Or stupas. How do you not know? What are you, stupa? <laughs> USA. Yeah, but we like. Uh, Justin's talking soccer. Everyone talks soccer. Yeah. You already pushed that? Sorry? You already pushed that? No, it's okay. Oh, thank you. Maybe do you have any the American dollar? No, sorry. Look, I saw Vinia. In Ukraine, Sri Lanka, in Mexico, Argentina, oh, Cambodia, yeah. Malaysia, Chile, China, Nepal. Wow, you guys. Yeah, you got a question there. Russia, China, China. Wow, can list off more countries than most people can in the States. <laughs> so we reached our first temple. All right. We reached many, but this is the first one we stopped. Oh well, yeah. There's like hundreds of them as you ride along, like everywhere you look in every direction. So All right. There. Ready? Justin made some friends. I think they're discussing Obama. <laughs> Wow, how cool. So as we were biking around, um, we were seeing all these stupas from like ground level, and um, I mean it's cool, it's awesome biking around, but you don't get that epic like aerial view that you always see from the hot air balloon shots. Yeah. So I was worried that we weren't really going to be able to see it. Um, and, but this is only like two or three stories high, and it's already like such a better view. Yeah. So hopefully we can find like a taller uh, thing to climb and get a better view. And we're not even in the main area of it yet, so I have like a renewed sense of optimism to get like an awesome view from above now. So we decided to stop and look at some of the stupas. They're just speckled everywhere. So we're gonna go inside some of these. Very cool. Pretty 
there's another one. I guess we can do a 360 here. This one's cracked everywhere. This way. Follow Justin. This is a big one. Doesn't look like we can walk up into it though. We just walked around this big one here, left our bikes over there. So see, we didn't come up all that far. The view is just awesome. Hi. See, that's sunblock on him. It's a different type of sunblock though. And some wear it in kind of um, like a tribal fashion, other wear it, ones wear it just all over their body. And um, I'm under the impression that they do it to lighten their skin as well. Because there's like a trend going around in Asia where you get skin whitening lotion and it's like a way to make you look white. Which is ironic, because most Caucasians like to be tan. I guess you always want things that you don't have. This is what the exterior used to look like. Now you really see just a bunch of exposed brick. So this one's a nice little treat for us to see. Most of them just look like brick. Well, we're um, gonna get some lunch now. I'm doing my best to record. Oh, so we um, made our way through the whole site a lot quicker than we thought. We're gonna get some lunch now, and then on the way back, we're gonna go explore some more of these temples um, more thoroughly. We were kind of passing a lot of the ones that looked really cool in the beginning because we weren't sure how much time we'd have. Um, we weren't sure if we'd have enough time to go through everything, but we're almost at the end of it now, and we've only been at it for a couple hours now. This is what we're kind of looking at as we bike along. There's just left and right in every direction, stupa after stupa. Kind of be interested to know the total number of them. Has to be in the hundreds, if not thousands. And now to read a sign We've been in kindly... Myanmar English, we'll have Justin narrate it. Please litter off dry and wet garbage separately and properly as we are trying to maintain Bagan, the great heritage area to be clean and pleasantly elegant so far. Well done, narrator. Well done. It's a kind request. This is a giant alms bowl for donations and food. And behind it, I guess, is a giant Buddha. We're just out there. So this is the Buddha that's behind the giant alms bowl. Uh, it said it was 42 feet high. And uh, something about it was given by a rich man who, rich man who they gave a ruby ring to. This 
the side lying reclining Buddha. So I lost the hubby, but then I found him again. Yeah. I think this is the best view that we've had so far. It is just gorgeous. You'd think that after we've hiked already so many and seen the views that this would get old, but they don't. Because each one kind of has its own uh, originality to it. There are some clusters of them where they're, they're all similar or identical. But yeah, like, for the most part, they're all different. I wonder how many there are. There have to be thousands. That one's pretty cool. Uh, so is that one. That's where we're going to go next. Um, so customary to not wear shoes or socks on any of these pagodas or yeah, stupid dogs. Including this one we just went up. But it is so hot in the sun all day. It was literally burning our feet. We had to cheat and put our shoes back on coming down. It's all about being respectful but not like damaging our skin. But it's so hot. I feel like I have burns on my feet now. Yeah. I think that they are like mildly burned. Yeah, I, I agree. Oh. That was not okay. This one is huge. This morning we hit like a lot of the little ones that looked interesting. And on the way back now, we're kind of going a little bit out of the way to hit all the major ones. This one being Yeah, it's nice and cool tile. My feet still hurt. Look at all these donations. <laughs> so there's another one over there to the right. Another one. Another one. Another one. Also, this building is pretty huge, and there's like giant Buddhas everywhere, and underneath each one, there's like cases and cases like filled with money too. Like, yeah, these cases yeah, yeah. Let's you can see them up there underneath the lights, or in front of the lights. Yeah, so there's a bunch of them there. We did see a couple of the old bills that like were that are no longer valuable at all. Like they have literally no value. So either like this stuff is like years old and they never empty them, or people are like throwing old bills in there trying to get good karma. Who didn't know So this is basically our last stop, unless we come upon some more smaller ones that aren't on the map. It's called Shwezagon Pagoda. I'm not sure why we're telling you the name on the video now, because we didn't give any names to any of the others. But this is one of the more known ones, I guess. It's also probably the most different looking one. Oh, 
I wonder if this is what the other ones look like before all the uh, facade came off of it. Because now the other ones are just exposed brick, but there was something on top of it before. So Justin and I were just pinned these good luck butterflies and we're assuming that if we don't buy something from the shop owners that gave it to us, they're probably going to take it back. So this is my bet. I didn't want it in the first place. I didn't either. But. They, they're very, very persistent here. Like the shop vendors, well. they like surround you and that's common. Really? Yeah, I assume so. So from biking see how filthy my feet are and you see all that dust and dirt next to my feet that is for me <laughs> this is Justin's beauty feet Myanmar is like right up there with Thailand the food is really good it's the best food I've had in Myanmar it's fish and curry and like I was just telling Kristen that like these are one of those meals where like I don't even feel like talking. Because it's just so good. It's right up there at the best uh, food that I've had on the whole trip. It's like just indescribably flavorful. That's the best way I can describe it. That's indescribable. <laughs> it does look good. Alright, so we just finished up our day of Bagan, where we went to a bunch of temples slash pagodas slash stupas. stupas. Um, and yeah, we had a great time. This is actually one of my highlights. I thought it was just so epically awesome. It wasn't just the individual um, temples that made it. It was like the hundreds that you could just see at every which angle. It was just stunning. Um, absolutely stunning. So, now we're about to finish up. Go back to our hostel, take a shower, because we need it. Look at our feet. And, um, which is also why I wore this a lot of times to protect my, my nose and mouth from a lot of the dust and sand that's around. It was pretty difficult um, bicycling around. Not so much I thought it was going to be stressful, but I have a flat tire that I've had the entire time and I didn't realize it. So, um, and our gears don't work on either bike. These are really crappy bikes, but they're only a dollar for the whole day. It's a dollar for the whole day, and we've had it since so like we can't 9 complain. in the morning, and now I guess it's like 5 p.m. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, life is really good, and now we're about to go on a bus ride to Inlay Lake. Yep, overnight bus. An overnight bus. Which means America. we're going to want to die. It's, it's going to be just, brutal. It's not going to be a happy camper. Um, all right. We'll play some card games and it'll be all right. So Justin and I are on the overnight bus. We haven't even left yet. And look at that face. He's already corrupt. <laughs> show him your chair, Justin. No, show him how it's broken, how it relies. <laughs> It just was whatever he was. He's a real happy camper. I don't even care about that. I just think it's like a normal. <laughs> this is going to be a long 